Welcome to FaveCrafts 365, your daily vlog report from all of us here at FaveCrafts.com. Letting you in on the inside skinny about what we're doing here. I'm Maria Nerius, the resident craft expert, and as you can see, or maybe you don't recognize it, I'm just back from Mardi Gras in New Orleans. What a trip. First of all, it was a road trip, a car trip. And those are very interesting because I took along a lot of creative stuff, including a journal. And I got everybody in the car involved, of course, the driver who needed to pay attention to make sure that we made it to New Orleans because it was New Orleans or bust. This was my first visit, and what an amazing event. One of the major things of Mardi Gras are the parades, and several are scheduled all the weeks right up to... Um, Fat Tuesday and Ash Wednesday. Normally the parades are at night. There are definite parade routes that are always listed in the newspaper. And you get there a little bit early. And you kind of are on the sidelines. Sometimes there are railings and stuff to let you know. Other times you just need to stay on the side of the street. And then these wonderful horses and bands and parade floats come by. And on the parade floats they're throwing out goodies like you see here. Um, let me look. This one I got from the Muses Parade, and that's a parade all women. And what else? Ooh, the Knights of Chaos. Got that one from them. I will tell you that it's not a good idea to um, stand next to children, because when the stuff starts flying off the parade um, floats, it's really best that the children get them, and then you kind of stand there and go, gosh, wish I would have got that. So anyway, you will need to go where the adults are, uh, because that's much better. Um, it also helps if you stand next to a lady who's in kind of like a I Dream of Genie costume. For some reason, lots of stuff was coming her way, and she couldn't catch it all. They do throw lots of beads. Beads are coveted. They come in all sizes, and they're kind of like trophies. People really do wear these around town, um, particularly the ones that, like I said, are from the different um, groups that sponsor the parades. Um, I also, from the Babylon Parade, got a sword. <laughs> Um, I looked really hard for a kid to give this to, and I couldn't find one because, you know, I was by all the adults. Um, they also throw doubloons, the doubloons. I probably not. They talk very strange there. But anyway, some are metal, and these are the ones that I guess are really important, although can't buy nothing with these. Uh, they also have plastic ones, and as you can see on my hand, this is another one that I got from the Muses Parade, and it's just a really cool little bracelet with um, stiletto heels. Look at them stilettos. That's kind of their trademark. Uh, they throw out uh, trading cards. And another real biggie, and I think this is fairly new, but I could be wrong because I don't know all the history, are cups. Each of the different groups that sponsor their parades throw out different cups, and people really go for it. And like I said, oh, the beads. There is just something. I mean, you become a child again. It's just like, yay, I caught it. Um, and what's really nice, too, is a lot of times, if you're like me, they would point. <laughs> They point at me and throw it. The other really funny thing that happened, and I do have to share this with you, um, I went with my husband, my mother-in-law, and her twin sister, Barbara. Well, Barbara was a bit of um, a bead thief. She was really going for those beads. So we were watching a kids' parade that was on during the day. And you know what? No float, but those kids were darn cute. So the kids kept throwing me beads, and of course, suddenly there'd be a hand in, in front of me, and it was grabbing my beads. So near the end of the parade, this cute little boy came up to me, directly up to me, and said, Ma'am, these are for you. Um, and that was really sweet. So I, I did get beads at the kids' parade. And I'm telling you, kids and Aunt Barbara, don't be standing next to them. From all of us here at FaveCrafts.com, we hope that you have some exciting road trips or events that you attend. Have you been to Mardi Gras? What did you see there? Please leave us comments because you know what? I'm going back. I had a really great time. Um, I'm not sure what, what I was expecting, but it was much friendlier and joyful and just plain fun that, than I ever would have imagined. So if you ever get a chance, go visit New Orleans and visit during Mardi Gras. Although from what I understand, they have like parades all the time. They have Easter parades and Fourth of July parade. They like parades there. So um, it's a cool place to go. From all of us here at FaveCrafts.com, have a creative day.